You might try to hold it in, but if you're sleepy, you might let out a yawn. We have all been there before. Athletes do it, politicians do it, and lots of animals do it. And there's a good chance that if you're watching now, you just yawned too. Yeah, I'm talking to you. But why does one yawn sometimes spark a domino effect? To the scientists we go, yes, they have studied it. The folks at Nottingham University even published a paper on it. They say that the propensity for contagious yawning is determined by cortical excitability and physiological inhibition in primary motor cortex. Okay, now in English, the area of your brain that's in charge of motor functions is also behind the reflex that makes you yawn when someone else does. Some researchers say it's a tool of communication too, as a way of showing empathy. I see you yawn, I feel bad that you're tired, so I yawn too. A different study found that contagious yawning is more common between friends and family, which appears to support the hypothesis that our emotions spark our contagious yawning. So the next time you get caught in a chain of contagious yawns during a work meeting, you can all tell your boss you're not bored, just super empathetic. Lauren Magarino, Newsy, Chicago.